Hi, today we're gonna design a skateboard to sell it online. For that, we'll go to a web page called sassle.com. In this web page, you can um, design your own products like iPhone cases and t shirts and wool decals and, and stuff with your own designs and you can uh, also uh, create your own store for free and sell those designs so that's what we're going to do in this tutorial we'll, we'll do a skateboard so the first thing you want to do is go to sassle.com then go to create you you must uh, create an account here I do have one so here go to skateboards I'm going to choose uh, one of the bigger ones in size because a, if you make uh, the design as big as you can then you can adapt all the same design to all the smaller sizes so I'll pick this one and then I'm going to take a screenshot from this uh, skateboard And now I'm going to Photoshop. Okay, so now I'm going to give myself some room here. So, um, what I'm doing is I'm copying the, the skateboard uh, shape. From di directly from from the Sassel side, so I have this um, sort of template to design my skateboard. So now that I have this, I would just create a new layer, use the brush tool, and then maybe zoom in and start designing. Okay, then when the design is complete, I would crop this and save this image. And use it to trace it on Adobe Illustrator. So we just made a sketch for the for the skateboard and we're gonna trace it on Adobe Illustrator. Luckily now I have done the sketch already. I'm going to show it to you. Is this? It's a vulture. So I have already used the template so to calculate uh, the, the area of the drawing. So this is the drawing we're going to trace on Illustrator. I created this in Photoshop with the paintbrush and the mouse. And why are we going to do it on Illustrator? Well, it, it has a very simple advantage and it is that if you create any sort of graphic in there, because of the nature of the graphics, you can scale your artwork to any size you want and you won't lose any quality. So you can draw it small and concentrate on the drawing and at the end you just size it up to the to the format you need your your drawing. So so it's very easy to work with vectors. That's why I like them. And since we're going to do a big product, which is a skateboard, we'll need a big um, a big size, so we for sure will need vectors, and this will be the best way to construct it. So here we go. Now we're going to import the sketch, going to File, Place, and then the sketch. I'm going to click and drag. Okay. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Now 
Now I'm going to create some rectangles on the top. Well, new layer first, then rectangles on top, and rectangles on bottom, and then I'll make them gray. And then I'll make them gray. I'll make them uh, 78 gray, so you see they camouflage with the background. So that's the reason I'm doing this, so I won't have any noise on the borders, so I can appreciate the design as intended. I'll save this as Vulture Skateboard. And now I'm going to convert this layer into a template layer. I'll use 15%, maybe 20. It depends on the on the image, on the contrast, on the image, on the brightness. Yeah, that I don't know, maybe <laughs> 17. That's it. Okay, so I'll lock the layer, create a new one and start tracing. What I'm going to do here is zoom in I'm going to draw the white parts and that's it. I'm going to use a pen tool and now I'm going to select no fill And I'm going to use a stroke for now. I, we, I won't keep this, but it will help me visualize what I'm doing. So I will use it. So right now, I'm going to start tracing. The white parts of the drawing. I'm going to smooth this shape and this one too, so the corners are rounder. I'm going to uh, preserve the distortion of these shapes so it will look so it will look cooler. <laughs> um, I could smooth them out for sure, but I think it looks kind of with more character with irregular shapes. So as you can see, I'm only tracing the white parts of the drawing and we'll use a black rectangle on the back. So we'll have it, it, it is sort of like an stencil. Well, I'm going 
to pause the video now and keep doing this and I'll come back when this is traced.